Imagine a place where your every word is recorded, your actions are reported, and simping is supported. Welcome to the chilling reality within Skunk Works. This week, a bombshell landed on my desk. Secret documents, leaked by brave insiders, expose a spine-chilling truth. Skunk Works staff in a disturbing display of overreach have been caught recording what they dub concerns about users within their organisation. Concerns? Let's just call them what they are. Paranoid annotations. Being a YouTuber, affiliating with a previous org or just playing the game for the sake of having fun are not red flags. This isn't just some overzealous note taking, it's a grotesque invasion of privacy. To trivialise someone's identity to a label these everyday aspects as concerns is not just absurd, it's repulsive. It's a blatant disregard for the essence of individuality and freedom. It's disgusting. But it gets worse. From what I've seen, this just scratches the surface as it's come to light that members within the organisation are secretly recording conversations in order to backstab each other. And more damning of all, anyone who goes against the grain to this secret police mysteriously is removed for being toxic, for whatever that's worth. We need to wake up to reality. This document isn't just skunk works. This is a wake up call. It's time to question, to challenge, and to refuse to be a part of this dystopian future. Star Citizen is about having fun. When people are making documents and lists, we're only moving towards a sinister future. And to wrap it all up, calling everyone who is kicked from your org a racist, homophobe, or just toxic doesn't sound like any org I'd want to be a part of. Weaponizing your community to harass others is exactly what Medrunner did to me. It's a shame others have not learned. Stay tuned, because tomorrow I'll be publishing Monarch's side of the story, and I hope we can all learn something positive from this.